and welcome to Summer Sparking Good Time. So today's video is um, a little different. No, we're not baking, I promise. <laughs> well, we're broiling. So today's video is Diamond Painting Summer School Chemistry. And there's always been a lot of debate about acrylic versus resin and how do you tell them apart and all that. And the one thing that I heard that is definitive way to tell drills apart is Acrylic melts, resin doesn't, right? So, we have 12 different company drills. Either my extras or some I plucked out of new kits. So, the ones that are just a few, it's because it was plucked out of new kits and I don't want to run out of drills. Um, so, up here in this green, we have Jaded Gem Shop. Then this in the orange, we have Timu. We have Diamond Art Club. This is Distracted by Diamonds. This is Dreamer Designs. This is Craftably. Oraloa. Pam Diamond Paintings. This is from an Amazon kit. Uh, this is Diamond Dots. This is DIY Moon Shop. And this is Diamond Painting Shop. So, two budgets. The rest are classified as premium kits. Okay? All different price points. We've talked about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop these over in the... Um, what's that thing called? I have a convection like countertop. Um, what do you call these things? toaster oven it's set to 450 degrees or broil it has been preheated and I'm going to set the timer to twenty minutes while that's going I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the camera I will resume in 20 minutes Okay, we're back. It's been 20 minutes and I have broiled them. As you can see, we have some that have obviously melted. I did spin these around halfway through and um, to see what would happen. I'm squishing to see if that's. Okay. So, based on what I have been told, acrylic melts, resin does not. So, based on that, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one. So half and half. Okay. So. Timu. Melted. I don't want to like burn myself. As you can see, it this is melted. Okay. That's Timu. This is Pam Diamond Paintings. This is the Amazon kit. This is DIY Moon Shop. This is Distracted by Diamonds. What's really weird on this one, guys, I don't know if you're seeing this, is the white melted, but the others did not. I find that odd. And then this one is Dreamer Designs. Okay. So I have five that straight up melted, six that didn't, and one that looks like they might have ran out. I think, I think, uh, Robin at Distracted by Diamonds got played dirty. I think they ran out of white acrylic and sent white uh, resin with this because the other drills in the kit. They're not squishy. They're they're acting just like resin. It's only the white that melts it. So I'm wondering if there was a shortage and they just mm-hmm. So so oh unmelted diamond art club Cr 
craftably. Diamond painting shop. Diamond dots. Or Loa. And Jaded Gym Shop. Now, when I'm like mashing on these, they're not soft, they're not squishy, and these are a mix of uh, round and square drills. So, I'm going to go on to say resin drills, diamond dots, craftably, diamond art club, Oraloa, diamond painting shop, Jaded Gym Shop. I'm pretty sure, distracted by diamonds on this kit, something just went awry with the white. Because the other ones, I don't know if you can see that. Nothing but the white melted. I'm trying to. As you can see. Too close. See, the, everything but the white maintained its form and did not melt. So that's the shred of her diamonds. I think they might have just um, gave her the slip on something. But acrylic for Pam. Acrylic for Dreamer Designs. Acrylic for DIY Moon Shop. I expected the acrylic on the Amazon and the Timu. But I don't know if you noticed this, but on the Timu one here, the black ones did not all melt. I'm not mad at it. Okay. The lab is over. Okay. So we're going to take a little bit of a closer look at each of these, starting with the acrylic drills. And this is based on the fact that they did melt. So first is Dreamer Designs, as you can see, melted. DIY Moon Shop, real big mad about this because I paid high dollar for these kids. Amazon, which we expected. Okay, Timu, this was expected. Uh, we're going to expect it with the, all the budget. Pam Diamond Paintings, I don't think she has said either way. I'm not mad at it. They were great drills, but those were square. Moving on to Resin. Diamond Art Club, we knew this. Craftably, knew this. Diamond Painting Shop, I was almost positive that these were be resin. Okay, Jaded Chim Shop, we know that she does only resin. Oraloa, I didn't know, but they are resin. Diamond Dot Resin, I was actually surprised because I'm not a fan. Okay, now, this next one, I just, I can't say either or due to the mix. So, everything but the white melt, or stayed true. The white is the only part that melted. So, I don't know if that was just the only one that was acrylic. Okay, so I have searched all over the internet, all over the internet, for anything that tells you how are diamond painting drills made. And I have found nothing. And what I did find were there are some videos that talk about how to tell them apart. The most notable one being uh, Jade, from Jaded Gym Shops or Jadekins, um, her acrylic versus resin drills, how to tell the difference. Um, it's probably the number one video you're going to find if you're looking for that. Um, she did this a year ago. Um, but it is a pretty informative uh, video. Um, a more bigger overview is this uh, diamond painting, uh, drilling down resin or acrylic. How do you tell by Diamond Paintings Anonymous? Uh, she goes into a lot of detail. It's 46 minutes. Um, and she compiles multiple sources she was able to find, but still, there was no definitive um, how our drills made. She has some conjecture in there about molds and all that, but 
these are the two like big ones that if you're wanting more information on resin versus acrylic i would tell you to go see these i will link both of these videos um in the description box below but honestly me and i know daphne over at diamond painting and honest i think it's daphne uh, we have searched and searched and searched and i i can't I can't and she couldn't find anything. I, it, we can see videos that um, show the printing of the uh, artwork onto the canvas, them cutting down the uh, canvas, um, applying the glue, applying the uh, clear plastic cover, um, retrieving the drills, how drills are bagged, but nothing showing how drills are made, which kind of is weird. Um, so there is that. Uh, so, I wanted to give you that piece that I, I thought we were going to be able to when I was planning this video series. I did not realize I'd seen countless videos on every other aspect. Um, and I didn't realize that there is a very large whole gap of knowledge um, about how our drills made. This uh, concludes our section on drills, and we're going to move into adhesive in just a moment. Okay, moving on to. Um, how are the kits actually made? There are tons of videos um, on YouTube and elsewhere that explains how diamond painting kits are made. Um, Bevy did some little um, videos where she took footage, I think, from TikTok and compiled it. And um, But this one right here, How a Diamond Painting Kit is Made, Printing and Packing Drills by uh, Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting. Um, this is probably the biggest one out there. Um, but if you search for it, other things come up, um, there are other videos. We have this one with, uh, 33,000 views from two years ago from a homespun hobby. Um, this one from Dreamer Designs four years ago. Um, so there's, there are videos out there if you want to look. Basically, what they're doing is they take their image. They print it out onto a canvas, and then it's done on a very one of those large laser printers, um, as you can see right in this area. Oh, so hold on, let go. Oh, I, I hate it when it does it. Up in the, let me if I can go around. So up over here in this area, that big printer right there, it they print multiple um, images at one time on these large printers. After they are done printing. Um, the workers go in and they cut them down to size and if the edges need to be treated they do it there and then they apply the adhesive and then the cover after they do that uh, then they go and get the drills and uh, this is showing you how the um, drills are bagged into the heat sealed bags that that's what that image is and um, and then from that point, everything is, you know, compiled together, rolled up, and put into the bags or boxes and are ready to ship. So, it's it it's nothing that isn't on multiple channels that you can go watch. And I didn't think there was any sense beating a dead horse. Um, and whereas I was originally going to talk about the two different types of you know, commonly seen adhesive, um, poured glue versus double-sided adhesive. Um, there's countless, countless videos on that. Um, there are major flaws with the double-sided adhesive. Um, I mean, tons. There's tons and tons of videos on double-sided ad adhesive. Um, it's just a lot. Um, you're going to tell the difference uh, almost immediately on double-sided adhesive. It has the um, opaque cover. It's like a paper, almost like a release paper. That's what you're going to find on those, whereas poured glue is going to have the clear cover. Um, poured glue is literally poured onto your canvas and then spread out. Um, 
normally by machines, by the way. Um, and then the double-sided adhesive is applied by um, humans from the videos I was able to find. Um, double-sided adhesive does have a lot more problems, um, and poured glue is the preferred um, adhesive, and you're seeing fewer and fewer of the uh, double-sided adhesive canvas out in today's market because poured glue is just what is by by and large more preferred by the majority of diamond painters because you don't have to um, go in and deal with rivers and bubbles and all that on poured glue like you would have to do with the double-sided adhesive. Um, if you want to uh, do a deeper dive on that, I strongly encourage you just do double-sided adhesive diamond painting on YouTube and you can go look. Um, you're going to find a lot of videos on how to fix the problems on double-sided adhesive canvases. Um, there are some people who don't mind either or. Um, I'm um, one of the people in the majority that said, give me my board glue. I don't want to have to spend minutes, hours, days fixing a canvas because while it was shipping, something had been to the adhesive. That That is not a fun part of the hobby for me. So I choose to not order anything that I see is a double-sided adhesive. I'm only buying poured glue because it's just, in my opinion, and quite a few other people's, better quality and a lot less hassle. So that's where we are with diamond painting. Summer schooled, lesson five, chemistry. Um, I was really, really thinking that we would be able to find how drills are made, but it's not out there, and I'm sorry. I, I have scoured the internet and spent hours searching, and I cannot find it. If anybody is watching this video and you can find anything that tells me where to go to find the information or find a video about how our drills made, please tell me in a comment below. I would so appreciate it because I have spent, I'm not even joking, hours searching. and. I'm kind of big mad about it. Um, if you got any enjoyment or um, thought that this video added value to your life in any way, shape, or form, um, if you wouldn't mind uh, booping my snoot, hitting the like button on the way out, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I did make my kitchen stink for y'all for a couple days <laughs> doing the uh, chemistry experience when I melted the drills. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to. And, and, of course, you can, as always, um, ring the bell for notifications if you want. Um, I'm not mad at you if you don't, because I hate when my phone dings at me all the time. Um, and also, if you want to share this video with anyone, feel free. Uh, I ain't going to be a mad at you for that. But uh, that's basically all I have for you today. This, my plan did not go according to plan, because I couldn't. When I mapped out these courses, it was long before, like, the research. So I had my outline. And so when I got here, and I was searching, and I'm searching, and I'm, but I'm out of time. It, it's chemistry videos going up. I have to go or go or don't go. And so I, this is what we have. I am so sorry that I could not find that information for you. I was able to give you a, um, from what I can tell, as a definitive test. We only had the one outlier with Distracted by Diamonds, and literally only one color did not uh, maintain its form. So, I'm not, I'm not sure there. I, I would assume that the supplier slipped Distracted by Diamonds, um, the white acrylic, because there was a shortage or a, you know, sourcing issue there. Uh, but the rest of them did retain their form and did not melt. So, I'm assuming that the majority of drills from Distracted by Diamonds would be resin. So, that's what I have for you today. Um, I'm sorry, this is not exactly the video I envisioned, but we did get to melt uh, the drills and see what we saw, which was pretty cool. And um, until next time, I love y'all. Bye-bye.